Welcome to Barbarian Builds. Join me while I craft this Gothic church and this overgrown jungle temple. First of all, allow me to excuse myself for not showing you the whole build, but I started these while isolating for health reasons and wasn't in any condition to show myself on camera. I'll be using this floor for both the buildings. I cut it out of XPS and I drew a 7 inch by 12 inch grid on it with a pencil. I left a border of half an inch on every side. If you want to know more about XPS cutting, check out my previous video. You can also use this as a battle map if you don't have anything ready. I also made a staircase out of XPS foam, but I didn't glue it on because I wanted it to go on either side of my build. This is my gothic church. It's mostly XPS foam and foam core, glued together with hot glue. I've added these bars for some extra support and I've added these tiny pieces of cardboard to cover those spaces between the walls, the roof and the pillars. Now you might have noticed there's a wall missing. You might have also noticed these pillars are way too big. The pillars are too big so that it fits tightly with our floor. As a side note, the roof and shingles are just cereal box cardboard. And as you can see, I did not forget that extra wall. It's just that I build things with gameplay in mind. When players say they want to enter the church, you just remove most of it and leave that back wall there. So they still feel they're inside the church. On to our temple. This is our back wall. The side walls have these windows. And the ceiling is mostly destroyed. I've made these inner walls to have two separate rooms inside the temple. Two small stone slabs hint the players where the doors should be. And this is our front wall. The same staircase fits perfectly on our front wall. Once I told a couple of friends I was doing these projects, they volunteered to make some props. Their Instagram account link is in the description. So they made these gothic candelabra. They made a couple of plants for my temple. They made this font. And most importantly, they made these beautiful stained glass windows. Again, you should really check them out, they make all sorts of stuff from polymer clay, foam clay and resin. So I'm going to be making some window frames for these stained glass windows. These will be made out of foam core, just like our walls. You'll want to use the cheapest foam core you can find so that the paper part peels off easily. As you can see, I'm always eyeballing stuff, not really measuring too much. Now you might notice that I'm cutting the bottom part of the window frames first. And I am doing so to make it easier on myself to cut the sides.
After cutting these frames and cutting the holes in the walls, I'm texturing the frames with our good old friend tinfoil. I will also be drawing with a pencil the bricks on these frames. For the walls themselves, I used this texture roller I 3D printed myself. After rolling it on top of the walls, I went over the drawing with a pencil to really highlight it. I stuck the window inside the hole and I glued the frame on. Gluing the frame will keep the window in place. This window has a frame on both sides, because both sides of this wall will be seen by the players. This is not true for the remaining windows. Having a frame on the outside of the building will be enough for the others. For the rose window, I cut it in half, so that, again, I make it easier on myself to cut the round part on the inside. So I repeated this process of cutting the holes, cutting the frames, texturing the frames, and gluing it all together for the remaining windows. After all the windows were in place, it was time to use our totally not sponsoring this video friend, Mod Podge. As in previous builds, we're gonna mix it up with black acrylic paint so that it glues everything together and also serves as a primer. Allow me to remind you that this mix has to cover every part of our build. So this might become, as it was for me, a long and tedious process. I just had to make sure I didn't paint the windows. And if I did, which of course I did, I just removed the paint with a small wet paintbrush. With all this done, it's time to start painting. I'm going to start off with a very neutral grey, just black, white, and a bit of silver for that extra shininess. I'm going to use this color for the ground and the stairs. Remember to keep this color a bit darker than you would want it, 
because we're going to add some lighter dry brushing afterwards. I'm going to add some ochre yellow to our neutral gray and use that for our church's walls. With this paint, I can be sloppy around the roof and door, but not around the windows. I've added even more ochre yellow and a bit of burnt sienna to make the stone for the temple. Then I added some sap green and even more ochre yellow and used that color on the church's roof. I wanted the church's roof to be something like old copper. With this green, I detailed the edges where I had been sloppy with the stone color. Finally, I painted all the doors with a burnt umber color. It was now time for one of my favorite parts of this process. Dry brushing. You can check out my previous video for further details about this technique. I've started with this mid-tone gray that I used on the staircase, the floor, and the church walls. mixed up some ochre yellow and some silver and I used this to dry brush the church's roof further highlighting that it should be copper as well as the whole temple Then I added a lot of white to this ochre yellow I already had and used this on top of everything else in every piece. Keep in mind this last layer should be highlighting mostly the edges and be done very lightly. To finish up the temple, I tried adding some details. I had this Christmas decoration moss that I added to some of the windows. And next to some falling parts of the roof. And I also added some train modeling plants to some of the corners. To finish things off, we just need to apply some varnish. 
Don't forget your protection, keep your distance, and remember that it's best to do several thin layers than one very thick layer. All that's left for us to do now is to look at it. Hope you enjoyed these builds. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Uh.